This is my sister, and she's about to walk through this door. But what she doesn't know is that on the other side, there is a new and improved double stacked tripwire machine that just launched eight foam balls at her, each with 14 miles per hour of force. But to understand if we got to this point, we gotta rewind a couple weeks. Because that is when this arrived. Our third cringe life spill box, the, the tripwire. Trip And today, my brother and I are gonna show you how we turn this into this. First, we'll give you a rundown on the toy's clever mechanics. Then show you how we modified our toys to make an even better one. And finally, show you what happens when you set it up all around your house and secretly record your family and friends as they get ambushed by this startling, yet very harmless prank. The basic function of the toy is, after you pull the kicker levers back into position and then load the four foam balls into their sockets, then when the wire is pulled just a little bit, it triggers the launch mechanism and sends the foam balls flying. But the really interesting part is what happens in that half a second between the wire pull and the ball launching. If you look here, you'll see the kicker levers are attached to these rubber bands. And as I pull the kicker levers back, those rubber bands are getting stretched and creating tension. Now I need to keep pulling the kicker levers back until they are parallel with the rubber bands so that the bands won't just snap the levers back into their original position as soon as I let go. But if I press lightly on either of the levers, they will become no longer parallel with the rubber bands and the rubber bands will snap the arms back to the front. But you might be thinking, we don't trigger our tripwire kicker levers by pushing on them with our fingers. They get triggered by the wire. And that, my friends, is absolutely correct. As the kicker levers are pulled back, they land on these trigger levers. And if you look at the center, those same trigger levers are connected together by this elastic cord. And yes, you guessed it, that elastic cord is connected to the wire. So when the wire is pulled, so is the elastic cord. And since the elastic cord is connected to the trigger levers, the trigger levers are pulled forward as well. And just like Isaac Newton said, every action has an equal opposite reaction. So when one side of the trigger lever is pulled forward, the other side is pushed back. And since the side that is pushed back has the kicker lever resting on it, the kicker lever gets pushed back as well. And just like we talked about earlier, the kicker lever is no longer parallel with the rubber band. So now the rubber band can transfer some of the energy it made up by stretching over to the kicker lever. And then the kicker lever uses that energy to swing around to the front and contact the balls. And when the kicker levers contact the balls, they transfer some of their energy to them. And since the balls have nothing to transfer their energy to, they just go flying, hopefully, into some unsuspecting victim that is being secretly videotaped and will soon be on the internet for the whole world to see. Okay, now that you know how the toy works, Let's talk about how we modified it to make it a bit more extreme. Now one of the assignments that comes with every Crunch Labs build box is to design a new and improved version of your build. Now our upgrades for the first box, the disc launcher, was to give it some more character, make it shoot twice the amount of discs as usual, and to have those discs travel twice as far as usual. Our upgrade for the second box, the coin spinner, was to find out the best strategy to win the coin bowling game. And when our third box of the tripwire arrived, we immediately started brainstorming on how it could be upgraded. And once we settled on the final upgrade ideas, we put it all together in this 20 second build montage. we noticed sometimes that our wire was too visible when we set it up around the house. Because when people walk, they often look at the floor, so they sometimes saw the wire before we could prank them. After this disappointment, we thought it would be really useful if we could make the wire invisible. To accomplish this, we used some good old fashioned 
fishing string to replace the wire. And for the other improvement, we decided to reuse one of our old ideas from the disc launcher and try and double the amount of balls being launched at once. The idea was, if we could stack the chip wires on top of each other and then somehow connect them to the same wire so they get triggered at the same time, then it would equal in a twice as satisfying prank. To pull this off, we first took some popsicle sticks and broke them in half. Then we bought some small magnets from Amazon to attach to the sticks and the backs of the trip wires. This way, we can easily connect and remove the toys from each other. Now this idea sounds great on paper, but once we actually built it, we ran into a problem. We discovered that the magnets and popsicle sticks were not nearly enough to keep the second trip wire from falling back off the first. So we had to go through a bunch of other designs that we won't bore you with, but eventually we found a solution and ended up with this design. Now we kept the popsicle sticks and magnets for stability, but to keep the second tripwire held in place, we connected the calibration bolts on the front together with rubber bands, then did the same with the trigger levers on the back. Now the rubber bands on the back have a double purpose, for they don't just keep the second toy on top of the first, but they also connect the trigger levers to each other, therefore connecting them to the same wire. Because when one of the two wires is pulled and one set of levers is triggered, that set of levers is connected to the other one, so they both go off at the same time. We left links to all the parts we used for this in the video description if you'd like to make something similar. Now all that was left to do is to set the trip wires up all around our house, then wait. And, and we didn't, didn't have, have to wait, wait long. long. You can put this in your hallway, you know, where someone trips over it. You can tie it to a door so when they open it, it fires it. You can put it in a cupboard, in the fridge. But then as usual, we're thinking about how we take this to the next level. So maybe you connect these four balls with some kind of net. And then you can take your little brother's Buzz Lightyear toy, try and see if you can capture in slow-mo on your phone the net engulfing him and capturing him. Thanks for watching. Make the wire invisible. That's when you say the wire. Oh. Yeah. I am so happy.